Hey, this is Duke Nukem. When I'm not out saving the universe from mutant petty wastes, I'm listening to Game On. Game On, your new favorite podcast on today's drive to work. Mamma mia! We set high standards here. Here's Jeff. And the new Game On podcast continues. I am Jeff Johnson. We're shifting our hat a little bit. We're going from talking about video games and all those sort of things basically shifting almost to table talk at this point. We're talking about different board games that we played or card games that we played over the weekend. And the first one is a brand new game to me anyways. I know it's been out since the uh, 1980s, but we're talking about Labyrinth. So basically this is a board game that came out in 1986. It's almost as old as I am. And what happens here is the game board forms a maze and half of the pieces are fixed in one spot. The other half are moving pieces. And the way the game works, there is no sort of limit to how much you can move your character. So long as you move your character to a spot that's connected to where you currently are in the maze, where things get tricky is those moving pieces. There's one extra piece that sits outside of the board and you put that piece in push in from one side and it rearranges the entire map so it definitely adds a complication to it we ended up playing this game uh, myself my wife shayla and we also played with my uh, seven-year-old daughter Paige. we all had a great time with this game because it's a lot of fun it's a different style of thinking than what you see from your traditional board games. There is no dice to roll. There isn't like a end point that you have to get to. Basically, you're wandering the labyrinth trying to collect all the different items. As you go through it, you're picking up these items and away you go. So it's a great game. It was a lot of fun. We actually played a Harry Potter variant on this. And so when that happens, basically what it is is... In the main game, like in the actual Labyrinth game, there are different treasures you have to find around the Labyrinth, or different monsters you have to find. Here, instead of finding those treasures, you're finding different Harry Potter characters. So, like, Harry's in there, uh, Ron's in there, Hermione, and then, you know, a whole bunch of other characters are in there as well, like Hagrid, Snape, Voldemort. Your job is to basically flip the card that you have in front of you, which is your goal card, that's the character you're trying to find, and you gotta keep doing that eight times to win the game. I definitely recommend this game. It's a lot of fun. It's great, great fun, actually. We had a good time with it. We only ended up playing it once, but it only took us about, I'd say, anywhere between half an hour to a full hour to play it. So, decent amount of time if you got some free time in an afternoon or an evening, and it's it's worth it. It's, it's a lot of fun. I'm Jeff Johnson. This is the new Game On Podcast. <laughs> listening to Game On. Tremble in fear at our three different times of ships.